Hello and welcome, PML fans. I'm your host, Joseph Moore, here bringing you PML Week 3 of Draft Center. And this week, these are your matchups. And let's start off with the game of the week. So for the game of the week, we have New Zealand Kings, coached by Stewart, facing off against the Country Chinchinos, coached by Ryan. And as you can see, Stewart brought Crocodile, Togekiss, Amoongus, Toxicity, Rotom Wash, and Passimian. As Ryan brought Claydol, Gudra, Incineroar, Corviknight, Sableye, and Slurpa. The Country Chinchinos tried to fight back in this game as they were uneventful, getting 5 0 by the King. Claydol was able to toxic kill uh, Rotom Wash as Rotom Wash went down. But once Crook came in, it got some kills uh, after Persimian seemed to have got him into a pivotal position. And not even a Dynamax Gujra can stop him. So the Kings are able to dominate that game. 5-0 with Crocodile getting 5 kills. Next up, we have Coach of the Day-Day Knights, Dusty, versus the Texas Golurks, coached by Kenneth. The Knights brought Charizard, Spiritomb, Torkoal, Scrafty, Escavalier, and Chansey versus Kenneth's team of Swoobat, Skunk Tank, Dragapult, Sense of Scorch, Bronzong, and Gyarados. And Dusty gets the spanking he's been asking for this week versus Kenneth due to a Gyarados sweep of a 6-0. Not needing any Dynamax and just letting that Gyarados run rampant on Dusty's team. Next up, we have the Knoxville Kecleons, coached by Jacob, versus the Crimson Slayer Fairies, coached by Cece. The Knoxville Kecleons brought Licky Licky, Alakazam, Zerkatry, Garchomp, Ice Skew, and Gastrodon. As the Crimson Slayer Fairies brought Zorork, Azumarill, Serena, Silvali, Scizor, and Rhyperior. A lot of S sounding names in that one. And. It turned out to be a 4-0 win for CC as Serena and Rhyperior got some kills off early and Gastrodon and Ice Cube also got some kills for the Knoxville Kecleons. He didn't go he didn't go down without a fight. But Azu came in and showed off that huge power getting four kills to finish off that game. Next, we have the Blades versus the Dragon Knights. Co uh, Coach Matt brought Kofor Grigus. Alolan Ninetales, Tyranitar, Stoutland, Galvantula, and Excadrill. While Coach Jeremy brought Dragonite, Primarina, Rhydon, Rotom Freeze, Nihilego, and Sceptile. Excadrill and Stoutland were able to deal out some kills and were able to get about three kills between the both of them. Primarina got a kill early in the game. And then Sceptile comes in later to get a Dynamax moot off with the Unburdened Boost, I'm sure. And gets three kills of his own. Goes down, but Dragonite was able to clean up with the final two kills to get Jeremy the game. Next, we have the Saratoga Sableyes versus the Toronto Tyranitars. We had Josh bring Arcanine, Emolga, Darmanitan, Galarian, Obstagoon, Duraludon and Slowking Galarian. While Morgan brought Belossum, Heliolus, Mimikyu, Ninetales, Cantonian, Rillaboom, and Toxi Toxapet. Duraludon was able to get up four kills and one of them due to Stealth Rocks. Heliolisk and Ninetales were able to abuse that sun and get one kill each, while Mimikyu came in and got three kills. But that was not enough as the Saratoga Sableye stunned the T-Tars. And Darm Manitan finishes off the game and gets the final two kills. Next, we have the New Orleans Apes versus the Townsville Crocodile. Melvin brought Araquanid, Hydreigon, Conkelder, Metagross, Needle Queen, and Sylveon versus Jadens in Didi. Cinderace, Faramosa, Ribombi, Slowbro, and uh, Pulte, guys. There we go. And this was a pretty close game somehow with 
two Pokemon getting majority of the kills. Well, one Pokemon getting majority of the kills for each team. Baramosa seemed to have gotten an early kill and fall and fell to the Araquanid, maybe. Because the Araquanid also has a kill, and but also fell. Cinderace was able to get five kills, and Hydreigon was able to get four kills. So it must have come down to the last Mon, and somehow Cinderace was able to take the win for Jaden. Next up, we got Quake of the Florida for Alligators, who brought Sanaconda, Durant, Dracozalt, Ditto, Mr. Rhyme, and Porygon 2. Versus the Holy Crusaders of Coach Hasin with Pukamuku, Grimmsnarl, Halucha, Hitmonlee, Naganadel, and Galarian Weezing. While Quack was able to get some early kills with Duran and Mr. Mime, and Hasin was fighting back with Halucha, Naganadel, and Pukamuku all getting a kill, evidently it was Hitmonlee being an unburdened beast cleaning up the match with three kills to give Hasin a 3 0 victory. Lastly, but not leastly, we have uh, the New England Chartreuse versus the Philadelphia Polyrax. Coach Joe brought Clefable, Electivire, Mr. Mime, Galarian, Lycanroc Midday, Hippowdon, and Dracovish. The Polyrax, coached by Marquis, brought Aerodactyl, Chandelure, Milk Tank, Magneton, Tentacruel, and Vileplume. While this game was decently close, uh, Lycanroc and Electivire shared three kills. Lycanroc, of course, finishing off the battle for the Chartreuse against the Polyrass. But the Polyrass did come out fighting with uh, losing 3 0. Uh, Magneton and Milk Tank were able to help the team getting some kills. Vileplume also got a kill and an effect spore off on the, on the Dracovish. And surprisingly enough, the Vile Plume was also Scarfed, which could have turned the tables on Coach Joe at the end of that battle. Luckily, he Dynamaxed the Lycanroc and was able to live the hit, and he was able to finish off that battle, uh, getting that 3-0 victory. And as you may know already, guys, Coach by Kenneth of the Texas Golurks, our MVP of the league this week is Gyarados. The week three MVP goes to yet another Gen 1 powerhouse. This week we get we have Gyarados, who was able to get a 6-0 sweep against the Knights. And that is why Gen 1 is power and loved by everybody. And lastly, guys, since it is week three, we are able to go over some extra stuff here. We have our first of the year power rankings for all the teams. So on the Cantonian side, we have the New Zealand Kings in first with 2-1 and one and plus 15 differential. Second, we have Kenneth at 2-1. and one. <clears throat> Sorry. And number two, we got Kenneth of the Texas Golurks at 2-1 and one with plus 12 differential. In third place, we have Townsville Crocodiles. At 2-1 with plus 5 differential. Fourth place, we have Saratoga Sableyes with 2-1 plus 4 differential. And this is where it gets a little crazy. Because even though in fifth place, the Knights have 2-1 with plus 11 differential. Their win points is actually less because they've had timer wins. And that's why they are lower in the ranking. Same thing goes for the New Orleans Apes at 2-1 with plus 7. They've also had some timer wins, and timer wins don't cost as much as uh, regular wins, like straight up wins before timer comes out. Uh, so that's why he's sitting there at sixth place. <clears throat> and last but not least, we got seventh and eighth place with Morgan of the Toronto Tyranitars with just a bit of better differential than Ryan of the Country Chinchinos. And on the Galar side, we have Jeremy of the Dragon Knights, 3-0, the only undefeated team this point. With plus 21 differential, he's been able to win all his games pretty handily, and we'll see if he can keep hold of that spot. Second place, we got the Florida for Alligators with 2-1 at plus 12. Then right behind them, we got the New England Chartreuse coached by Joe with 2-1 at plus 11. 
and even not that much further behind we got the crimson slayer fairies at number four with two and one at plus nine differential so as you can see in the galar region it is pretty nicked up tight uh one loss can get you out or one win can get you in and then in fifth place we have the blades at two and one with plus three differential number six we got coach hasin with one and two and negative one differential and then last but not least we have seven eight tied at zero and three and tied at differential as well the the polyrass by coached by marquis and the knoxville kecleons coached by jacob that is our week three recap thank you for watching and we'll see you guys next time